Hey, it's Sabrina with Wildlife X Team, and in these couple of videos, I'm going to talk to you about um, the world's uh, most social animals. The first one is the cows. You already know that cows are typically found in herds, um, but it's been proven that grouping is actually beneficial to their intelligence. Researcher put calves together and tested them on reversal learning in which they were trained to associate a black or white square of food. Once they had been learned, the researchers switched um, which color meant food. The click of calves learned the reverse task much faster than the isolated cows. The next one is a female mole deer, which have, um, they tend to have each other's backs. When a female mole deer goes out to, gate, to graze, she leaves her babies with other females of the group. If a predator happens by, the other female mole will protect all of the nearby fawns, even those belonging to a completely different species of deer, um, by attacking the bad guy themselves. And you thought you had a good babysitter. Uh, coyotes and badgers, they team up to hunt. Sometimes animals will even cross enemy lines to work toward the greater good. For example, coyotes and badgers tag team to create a living hell for their prey, eliminating all of the smallest chance for escape. If the prey is above ground, the coyote chases it. If the prey tries to disappear, the badger takes control. Um, it is a terrible situation for prairie dogs and ground squirrels, but it works well uh, for both coyotes and the badgers even though they're actually competing for food, so it's still a win. They're both capable of conserve more energy while taking advantage of each other's uh, hunting skills.